channel where Darian and Zanya were back in Tulum, Mexico after spending three months in Turkey. Yeah, we'll put that um, playlist. I think we have 35 videos of Turkey. We'll put that playlist in the cards. Yeah, we have a, a Turkey playlist and a Vlogmas playlist as well that you can check out from Turkey. So now we're back in Tulum where we started our travel journey last year. Initially, we thought after Turkey, we would be heading to Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, we weren't really picking up any souvenirs. But when we found out we were coming back on this side, we decided to pick up souvenirs for our friends and family. So we're going to show you all what we picked up. And mm -hmm. if we can remember the prices, we'll put them on the screen. But for the most part, we know roughly what everything costs. So we list the prices on the screen as we remember them, but we'll just go over what all we got. Mm -hmm. We also picked up a few things that we would need, um, like mason jars and things like that. Yeah, and also while we were in Turkey, it was winter, so we picked up a few outerwear pieces and mm -hmm. two of those or three of those we left there. We knew we were just going to use them in Turkey and then we know we were going to donate them when we left. So most of the stuff we got secondhand anyway, Yeah. but we kept two of those um, like windbreakers to bring to Mexico, but we'll get into all of that. Um, what you want to start with, love? I guess so. Where we stayed in Istanbul was right off of the main Istiklal Street. And through the corner, they had like a bunch of little cafes, restaurants, and vintage stores. And we found this really uh, nice vintage store that had a bunch of outerwear, jackets, hoodies, sweatshirts, shirts, mm -hmm. funny pops. And more like 90s inspired. Nice vintage style, bunch of like retro colors. This is a, a nice combination that you could mix and match, throw on on a windy day when it's just starting to get cool. This is one that Sonia got. This is a nice colorway too. Mm -hmm. And like this little pocket. It, it looks like a pocket, but it's not an actual pocket, of course. Yeah. So it's like retro style color blocking and in the back is just pink, blue and what is that aqua so that was what we kept from the vintage spot and then this is the funny pack i got so yeah. also this is this was complimentary with the purchase because we got like four mm -hmm. four jackets yeah so this came in handy and this comes in handy when we travel in mm -hmm. because um we'll have our backpack and like a personal bag which will be like when we were coming back that's what the mason jars were in mm -hmm. but this was good for travel days to keep like your passport and hand sanitizing everything you want to reach quickly like your wallet yeah. this was clutch for that so and we both have funny box now and it's deep and it's able to open from the top yeah mine open from the top too but not not like this yeah it's straight across so it droops down when you open it and it also has like a front pouch that i keep like little um wipes and stuff in so this was clutch so we kept this because we know this will be essential for travel days and we also kept the um wind breakers because we knew um, we could always use them like in rainy places like Mexico. We went to the Grand Bazaar and picked up um, some spices and the spice grinder. Mm -hmm. You just put whatever you're grinding in the top there, mm -hmm. close it off and then you just twist this to grind it and mm -hmm. it goes into the bottom here. Comes off like that or you just op open grind it like this over whatever you're cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also pick up two spices. They're pretty expensive in a Grand Bazaar. So um, we ended up picking up the oregano to use in the spice grinder. And then and then this uh, barbecue mix that they would use on like wings yeah. and cocktails sometimes. So apart from picking up stuff like deodorant and lotion that we used while we were over there, um, we kept two things. One was aloe vera gel. It's 98% aloe vera and... It's uh, olive oil like body cream yeah especially good on your face and your hands mm -hmm. um so we use a lot of this um what is it called aloe vera gel already mm -hmm. um in mainly in our hair and you can show them how thick the cream is yeah so pretty L thick. it looks thick but it's really like pliable and it doesn't feel heavy once it's on mm-hmm yeah um what else in Istanbul that was a nice scent too We got these uh, wooden spoons for smoothie bowls mm -hmm. and then this uh, honey dipper. Yeah, 
because we could find honey pretty easily here. Um, a lot of people bottle their own honey and walk around and sell it. Mm -hmm. And then we also got four of these mason jars. We knew the last time we were here in Tulum, it was impossible to find these. It's still impossible to find these. Mm -hmm. So we picked up four of these and these were really affordable. Yeah. So four of these, we have two in the fridge now um, that have sauces in it. And then we use two for water and infused waters mainly. Mm -hmm. The same store where we got our mason jars and the wooden spoons and the honey dipper from, we got these. Oh, we got a this... strainer. Mm -hmm. Good show, eh? You got this fine wire. Mm -hmm. And it's really good for this because it fit directly in there. So when we do our infused water, what we usually do is blend it up in a blender and then strain it. And then they gave us this as a gift. So it's the evil eye and then some scribes. Is this what you call it right, love? Yeah, it's an inscription. I can't remember what it is. Yeah, it's an inscription. I think it's for, you said it's for protection. Yeah, it's for protection. Um, and we had a really good conversation with the owner of the store. I think he was the owner or yeah. a worker, but yeah, he ended up giving us this as a gift when we came back for the mason jars because we started off getting the um, wooden spoons and then we went back for the mason jars. So yeah, and in one of our um, Vlogmas Day videos, we showed us refilling our Colonia containers. And what Colonia is, is uh, I guess you would say a hand sanitizer they use it for different purposes um some people use it to clean with some people use it like on their body like in their hair but um it's very popular to use it to sanitize your hands and mm -hmm. it's more effective than hand sanitizer and it smells really good so yeah. we got a big bottle and we always filled up the small bottles yeah but we run in little though so yeah so each of each of us would have one um on the plane or mm -hmm. when we go out yeah and now in mexico we at least one of us would have it on us mm -hmm. all the time while we once we leave the house so one more thing we got in istanbul was um this was also right through our corner where we stayed it was this evil eye necklace i'll do a close-up so y'all could see the details but it's stainless steel um but it's gold plated i think and mm -hmm. it has white evil eyes instead of the typical blue one that we'll show you so this was i think this was 200 liras so pretty cute yeah i got this as well and it was in one of our yeah. videos we'll link it in the we'll cards it, yeah, yeah one cards. of the vlogmas videos so now we'll move on to what we got in cash we only got two things we got this my first refrigerator magnet of a typical house yeah in in cash yeah, pretty cute. And then we also got, this was before we realized we would be coming this way. We really wanted Turkish towels but because we knew we would be traveling. We just got like this small kitchen towel, I would say. So pretty cute. It's still the Turkish towel style and a really cute color too. So yeah, that's all we got in... Um, it's some, uh, sorry, cash. Yeah, that's all we got in Antalya. Antalya because um yeah we weren't really thinking of buying anything so the majority of our stuff came from cappadocia um from watching youtube videos i saw a lot of youtubers get some really nice stuff so this is where the bulk of our items came from and this is when we realized that we'll be coming back over to the side and could actually get stuff for friends and family mm -hmm. so cash was actually not cash cappadocia was actually pretty expensive yeah it was in terms of even eating out mm -hmm. but as it relates to the um what's it called the souvenirs as it was about relatively the same prices which you would get in istanbul but it had more of a unique selection so mm -hmm. we'll show you what all we ended up getting so i don't know if you guys know about the evil eye but it's from turkey and it is to keep away the evil eye <laughs> Um, so basically when somebody looking at you in an envious way to keep that negative energy away from you But I wanted to pick up um, some evil eye jewelry and these were only I, I remember the price of these because this was like the last one of the last things we bought These are only 10 Turkish lira each so but I'll do a close-up to show you all how beautiful it is um, But yeah, I got assortment of these for myself and for a friend here in Mexico because she really likes the evil eye too. If I didn't say these are um, evil eye bracelets, it's a mixture of evil eye and some other type of, I don't know, gem, bead. 
So I picked up a few of these. These were pretty affordable. Um, for jewelry, I also picked up this handmade um, necklace. I'll also show you all a close up of it, but it's really cute. It was from a lady on the main strip that we pass often and she makes these herself. So yeah, I also picked that up. We got um, two of these evil eye magnets from the same lady where um, I got my handmade necklace from. And um, I got this one as well. Yeah, this uh, evil eye and the backdrop is a pomegranate. Mm -hmm. It's just pretty popular or all around Turkey. You can find pomegranate trees and orange trees and they do some fresh for you. Yeah. And then there's this evil eye right here. Yeah. And it looks like a tile. Tile, yeah. It's another unique one that we got. Yeah. These were a little more expensive, but they were pretty unique. So we figured we'll pick them up. And from that same store, we got two of these. It's for basically espresso or Turkish coffee, really. But we'll use it as an um, espresso cup. So it's a very pretty blue. And these were handmade in Cappadocia, I think they said the artist was from. Yeah, I think these were handmade in Cappadocia. Mm -hmm. So very pretty. Um, these were a little bit more pricey too. I think we paid like almost... I think these were 120 each. Yeah, I think these were 120 Turkish lira each. So we got two of these. And they gave us this little evil eye magnet as a gift. So pretty cute. We also collect postcards and one of our friends has a little girl and they have a area in her room that has postcards on the wall from all their friends in different parts of the world. So we said we'll collect postcards for her and this is a really cute one we got. So we think we thought this was pretty kid friendly, which is hard to find. Um, so we really like the colors and it has some glitter and all of that. So shout out to Rashad, Jamie and Zola. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Zola. So we picked that up. We thought that would be really cute. And then we and picked then up we this one. This one as well. Yeah. It looks very moody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that one. So usually when we travel in around, that's something we would collect other than like currency because it's pretty, it's pretty um, small. So it yeah. doesn't take up a lot of space in our bag. Yeah. Lightweight, small and easy to store. Mm -hmm. Now one of my favorite things and most useful things are these little pouches. So we keep coins in this one. So like, for example, now we're in Mexico, we have Mexican pesos in here. Coins and, um, what do you call it? Like dollars. That one's pretty cute. And then in this one, we keep our money collection. So all the currency that we collect from different countries that we went to. So I won't get into that, but it's money from Mexico, Ser Turkey, and, and Serbia. Serbia in here. And I think some Canadian money too in yeah. here. And then this one, we just have some crystals that we got from Tulum in here. So yeah, one of my favorite stuff and most useful. This comes in clutch every day. Another one of my favorites is this notebook. It was another one that I was eyeing that was a different fabric. It was like um, quilted, whereas this one is like printed on some type of metallic fabric. I really thought I got the one, but Darren said I didn't. So that's what I have now and it doesn't have any lines. So I think we'll turn this into our travel book or our travel journal. So that was pretty cute and pretty affordable to it. And this was 10 Turkish lira, either 10 or 15. We got uh, quite a bit of coasters, mm -hmm. some for us personally and then for family members. Mm -hmm. These are a few that we got. Yeah, pretty the cute. Designs are really nice. Mm -hmm. And these ones are really affordable because they have cork cork board to the back. You can show. So the back is just a cork board, and it's really light. That's another reason why we picked it up. So we said this is a nice way to add um, some Turkish designs and patterns into our living space home. That's so we initially got this for home in the Bahamas, um, but then we saw these ones that are a lot nicer. Yeah, and these ones are really heavy. So these are like tiles essentially um you can have a lot of those ones so we got an assortment of patterns and colors so it's like that and then it has a protective foam on the back 
so we'll keep these ones for our household so um essentially my parents house um because we have a room there and the other ones we'll give away to either family or friends and then we got our coffee cups We essentially only were going to use these in Cappadocia because we had a French press there that we got from Starbucks. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of got ripped off on these. Yeah. It came with a saucer. Darian has one of them. And um, we thought it was unique. And we thought like only that particular pottery place made it. I'll put that vlog in the cards as well mm -hmm. because we showed that. But when we went down the road, we realized a lot of stores have it and it's just, much, more affordable much cheaper yeah. and some some more designs as well mm -hmm. i think we paid 60 turkish lira each so still not i think, I think it was 50. uh 50 turkish lira each so still and not bad like but a five minute walk down the road it was like 25. yeah it was like half 20 the price for a bigger one yeah so still affordable but yeah we got ripped off but now you know the value of shopping around yeah for sure but we use these basically every day in cappadocia whether mm -hmm. we were drinking turkish tea or whether um because we wanted more than what the, the turkish tea um glasses could hold mm -hmm. so we'd use these and we'd make our coffee in these and now we still use it every day we didn't think we were gonna um bring it with us yeah but we ended up buying a suitcase to hold more stuff so we brought it with us and now we still use it every day so still worth the value even though we could have gotten it for a more affordable price yeah so another thing we try to collect uh pins which is pretty hard to find i think so far we only have one from ireland and italy yeah but we we were able to find a turkish flag so we got that and then we try to collect patches as we find them too and this one was really good because it came with a backing on it so no, this final the it Velcro. Collects, Velcro, sorry, it collects lint and other dust pretty quickly. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty a good nice. Way to secure it. Yeah, a lot of um of the patches just comes with the patch and you have to sew it on. Mm -hmm. But with this we could either sew the back in or glue the back in of the Velcro on and be able to take it off. So mm -hmm. we got those. These were also pretty affordable. I wanna say these were ten Turkish lira or less. And then from that same store we got this. Um, I wanted to pick up something to add to our room in the Bahamas. So when we visit the Bahamas or when we spend like a month or two months in the Bahamas with family, we'll live in my parents' house in my old room. The house is being renovated, so that'll basically be our oasis. But we have plans to turn it into a room slash office when we get there. Mm -hmm. So we um, decided to get a day bed and then set up like a really elaborate office space um so we'll document that process whenever we get home mm -hmm. we were supposed to be home now doing that but y'all know y'all know why we're in home right now we'll talk about more we'll talk more about why we're here in Tulum and not at home where we were initially planning to be but it has to do with quarantines and um certain bonds and it mm -hmm. just not being feasible to get home right now but we wanted to get something to add to our room um, when we set it up, so we figured we'd use two of the coasters on our office space, like on our desk space, and then we wanted something to add to the bed area. So this is what we picked up. So a uh, decorative pillowcase, and it's pretty well made. These were pretty expensive over there, but we got a really good deal. Mm -hmm. We got it from the same place where we got the patch and the pin from. And the um, coasters. And these coasters. Oh yeah, and these um, more affordable cork boarding cork back posters so yeah it zips off and the design is pomegranates i can't remember what they say pomegranates i just meant. want to say i can't remember what they symbolize not a i want to say abundance or something like that we'll look it up and put it on the screen but yeah so pretty cute pomegranates really nice design and then it'll, it'll fill, fit in well with our room we plan to probably pick up some stuff from Tulum too to add to our room just to have a little bit from every country we spend time in in there while still looking cohesive classy and not just a bunch of together. stuff from a bunch of different places yeah so we figured, mesh well. we figured this we could easily work this in and if not my mommy could use it like in the front room or something mm -hmm. and from that same saw we got these compact mirrors so 
One of these is mine. I keep it in our day bag every day. And then we got one each for our mothers. So pretty well made. And it's like this. So it's a mirror on the top and the bottom. And then um, y'all can see yourself. <laughs> one side is the magnified side and one is the regular side. And these are pretty well made. So we figured that was a cute thing to pick up um, for our mothers. We got uh, two ashrays. Mm -hmm. One for uh, Sonia's stepfather. Mm -hmm. He's a Cuban, so he smokes cigars. Yeah. So we figured we'd pick this up for him. It's really nice. Yeah. Well made. Handmade. Very well made. So, I got I got one as well. Mm -hmm. Darion is like in a greenish or tealish color. Mm -hmm. And then from a store there, I got this backpack. Yo, I was looking for a well-made um, backpack. It's pretty popular in Cappadocia, but a few of them aren't made well. And this one was pretty unique because this has the killum. And um, we'll put on the screen what the killum means, but it's indigenous to Turkey. And... Yeah, so this was, I can't remember how much we paid for this, but this was the very last purchase we like made. Like 180 or something? Like yeah, I want to say it was like, I think it was more than that. It wasn't too something. I can't remember, but it was worth it. And they, he also gave us a gift. So cute, right? They always giving you gifts. Mm -hmm. So it's this um, key, ring. key ring with an evil eye and some other little evil eyes at the bottom. So yeah. We were looking for this um, because we knew it would come in handy as an everyday bag here in Mexico. And just on our travels, instead of having like a purse or something or a tote, we'll have this. And the bottom is leather too, it's not this all. No. Oh no, the bottom is fabric. fabric. I didn't want the leather bottom because it's, it's fake leather so it's gonna peel eventually. So with it being cloth and then the kilom cloth, um, it'll be more durable. And with the kilom cloth, I think this was the only one, that was the only store that had backpacks with the killum um, material so he said with these ones you could wash it with the other ones you couldn't wash it so I'll show you all the inside it's just one big open space and then it has this zip pocket in the front which I don't think I'll put anything in there probably like lip gloss or my cologne or something but yeah and then the top is just this drawstring with the pullover mm -hmm. flap that you can connect right there. Yeah, it's like a magnet clasp. So yeah, and then I really wanted the what's this? The straps to be cloth. That's why it took us a while to find it because a lot of it, a lot of the stores they had the fake leather straps and they peel after a while. So this was the best design and well-made backpack. So. I really wanted this and I'm happy we found it. And on the last day too. Uh, we, all in all, we got a good amount of well-made, unique um, items. That we items. really wanted, yeah. yeah. So we weren't just picking up random souvenirs, just we were there for three months. So things that we got, it was either things that we really liked the moment we saw it, mm -hmm. things we know we could use often, or things that we saw in passing that we couldn't stop thinking about mm -hmm. and went back to get it. Or uh, things that will be a good gift. Yeah, for sure. For, for family members and yeah. friends. So, yeah, that's about it. And mm -hmm. thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, <laughs> comment, and share. Yeah, so we could hit our YouTube goals. Yeah. But yeah, we are pretty consistent on how we upload. We try to upload at least once a week and some weeks most weeks we upload twice and some mm -hmm. weeks we upload three times but yeah follow our journey and see y'all in the next video and for up to date um updates <laughs> <laughs> if you want to keep up with what we're doing day to day just you can... follow us on instagram yeah we have it down in the description box yeah so go down in the description box for more information mm -hmm. and watch the videos that we um linked in the cards to catch up on our journey yeah and if you also want to support our journey and you like our videos and you want us to keep producing this uh our great content and just follow us you can um support us on patreon yeah that's linked down below as well yeah so see you in the next video see ya thank you bye bye